Hey guys, welcome back to Passing Money. In this topic, we are going to be talking about what Kirby's got going on in his background. Blood. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But uh, we're going to be talking about the market, when it goes down, what we plan for beforehand, and what our game plan is when the market is going down. So, Kirby, I'll hand it off to you so you can jump into it because I know you love economic pain <laughs> yeah i i do love economic pain and <laughs> i i mean that's the best way to put it i'm glad you said it that way um for me it's i prefer the market to go down if you ask me and people know especially in my early days of investing i wish the market stayed down for a long period of time and it's not because i'm a uh, you know, a prima bear or want the market, the economy to crash. No, that's not. It's I want to get valuable companies at a cheap price. That's it. I So when I see market downturns like we saw in 2022, I loved it. I mean, we talked about in 2021, 2022, it said the market was going down because the Fed was going to hyper increase interest rates. I was bagging the truck up in there. And because the market was going down, as long as it was going down, I was putting more money in there, putting more money in there. And then when the, you know, S&P 500 got to, you know, 4,200, that's when I, you know, pumped the brakes and started not putting as much money in there. But I love the market going down because I know the market in general is not going to zero. If the market goes to zero, then we got a bigger problem. So the world's coming to an end. So we ain't gonna need the money in, in the first place. But so I prefer the market going down because I still at an age, I'm still at an age where I just want to keep putting money in the market, keep putting money in the market, keep putting money in the market. Yeah, do it suck for the people that's at retirement age? Uh, you could say so, but unless they're taking all their money out of the market right then and there when they hit, you know, 59 and a half or 60 years old, then they'll be fine. But it gives the, when the market's down, it gives people the aptitude and the ability to buy more shares of high value companies at a cheaper rate. And that's what create wealth. Wealth is not sitting there buying Amazon when it's going up a hundred percent a year. The key is buying Amazon when it's sitting there at $34 a share uh, during the dot-com bubble and nobody's scared to, and everybody's scared to buy it because they think the internet is a fallacy and somebody putting their money to work over and over and over again. And then when the market takes off, that's when the money was made when it was down there at $32 a share, not chasing the price up, up, up and up. And so that's my game plan every time the market goes down. And I always hope the market goes down just to give me an opportunity, not because I want the economy to crash again, because I want opportunities to buy uh, good companies at a discounted price. I agree with you completely, Curvy. I mean, this is what you've trained me or taught me to do as well. And it's definitely funny, too, because when there is downturn, the amount of text messages I get on, like, what's going on. And I I get so annoyed because, like, the I don't think society teaches, or I know society doesn't teach, that downturn is where there's opportunity. And I almost think that it's like strategize for them to change the colors to red when it goes down to scare everybody, because that's all mm -hmm. that people are doing is they're just in fear. And there's so much opportunity. Like when it's red, I'm looking green. Like it's, you know, because I know that there's going to be so many opportunities in buying at these prices. I mean, those are the, mm -hmm. and we have, Plenty of experiences with that. I mean, you with Bank of America, with Amazon, uh, me with Facebook. I mean, always opportunity when these big companies are down, especially companies that are this big. And I always ask people, do you see Amazon collapsing? Do you see Walmart collapsing? If not, then why are you afraid of their stock price going down? I mean, and that's just the reality. Like you said, it would take a nuclear war for everything to go to zero. And if there is a nuclear war, then why do you care about your money to begin with? I mean, you can't use it. Right. So right. there's definitely always opportunity. And that's all I look for. I save ahead. 
stack capital. If I see a downturn coming, all I'm doing is putting money into the brokerage account and then waiting for that downturn. So right. that is my view. Yeah, and and even if for the crypto heads out there, um, I got a text message. Uh, I believe it was two days ago, and somebody somebody that was investing in crypto, and then the price was going up. They was buying it when the price was going up, and I told them when the price was going up, if you're buying it when the prices go up, that means you like the cryptocurrency you're in. Be damn sure you buying it when the price go down. Of course, everybody forgets that I say this because I always say this. I mean, even in the class that we have, when the stock market is going up, I talk a lot less. When it's going down, that's when I'm talking the most because that's when I'm excited because there's so much opportunity out there. But fast forward. So the past you know, week or so, Ethereum has been taken off. Now, Ethereum has been down for the past you know, six to 18 months. And the person who texts me, they wasn't buying because they thought, the stock price or the cryptocurrency price was an indication of if the company is going bankrupt or if the cryptocurrency is going to zero. That's not what it is. If you, for the stock people out there, if you pay attention to the conference calls, if you actually read the financial statements, the ability of the company is based off those numbers, not the stock price. The stock price is just an arbitrary number people are bidding and asking for and what they think the value is at that time think the value is not no so but if you pay attention to the financials of the company and you can break down pe ratios peg ratios and things of that nature the debt to equity ratios that's another one if you can understand and decipher those then you will know the stock price don't matter you want to be buying the company i mean like you said with facebook we talked about facebook and we talked about i remember the conversation when we talked about how Facebook right now is lower than the value it was pre-COVID. Facebook, only thing they did was increase their revenue. They increased their profits. They increased ads. They increased everything. But now the world is valuing the company at a lower price than what it was pre-COVID. But all their company matrix are higher than what it was pre-COVID. So jump in. Now fast forward. Now you're up 100, damn near 200% on it. Now. Yeah. That's the things that happen. The same thing with me and Bank of America. The same thing with me and Amazon. The same thing with me and a couple other companies. Is the money is made at the buy. It's not at the sale. It's not YOLO and riding or diamond handing it all the way up. If you're going to buy a company and you're going to hold it, and this is a pet peeve of mine, people will buy a company, then the stock price go up. They don't sell it then. Then the stock price come down and then they scare. They won't sell it but they're scared to put any more money in there. If you're going to hold the stock, you might as well put more money in there and dollar dollar cost average down and bring your break even point lower. Because if you're going to hold it, you might as well keep putting money in, keep putting money in. So once that break even price, so let's say you bought it at 20 and then the stock came down to 10 and you kept buying shares, kept buying shares. Now your break even is at 12. It don't have to get back to 20 for you to break even or profit. You just got to get to 12. If it gets back to 20, you're sitting at a profit. But people will buy at 20, let it come down to 10, $8, just sit there and hold it, sit there and hold it. They'll be like, oh man, I'm just, I just don't want to lose the money. We'll put more money in there. So now that break even comes to 10, $12. Then it, if it gets back up to 20, you're sitting there at a profit. Not break even if you do nothing. And people, I see it all the time, all the time. And that's what this individual that texted me did. They didn't invest at all when the stock, when the cryptocurrency price was down. And then they text me, oh man, I should have kept investing. That is the first thing I always tell people. You invest more when the stock that you're holding or the cryptocurrency you're holding is down. You invest more than when it was going up. So yeah, is it sacrifices that you have to make to invest more? Yes, but it will pay off because the profit the money that you will make is on the buy of the stock, on the buy of the cryptocurrency, not riding it up when you get a zero interest rate or something like that. Yeah, absolutely. And that's for investing in general. And people are always afraid. But that's what society wants you to society wants you to be afraid because the ones at the top, they're pushing for the downturns because they know that they're going to capitalize off of those selling off their 401ks selling their homes at a loss 
it doesn't matter to them. And I mean, just look at history. And like we always talk about, if you don't look at history, you're bound to repeat it. Looking at history, you can see in every recession, look at where we are now. We're way ahead. I mean, and the, the saddest one is the, for me, is the 2008 recession because I remember living through it, you know, as a kid, seeing everybody sell off their 401ks or retirement and the stock market's up now, what's like 600% from the bottom. So, I mean, it's it's insane. But that is when money is to be made. And we both can speak from experience. Right. And for all of the people that's out there, if you want to know more about investing, if you want to know about the things that me and Alex do, the stuff that we do is easy replicated. You don't need a degree. You don't need a PhD. You don't need none of that special stuff. Subscribe to the channel. Link in with us. Comment. We will reply back. And let's let's make money together because it's too much money out here for us to hold secrets for anybody. It's enough money where everybody can make money and everybody is still fine. You're not going to eat off my plate. I'm not going to eat off your plate. And we're still going to make money. So subscribe. Hit the like button. Comment in the comment section below. And let's go get to the money. With all that being said, y'all have a good day and we'll see you in the next video. See you guys.